Now we're going to continue work on the eye, the eye socket. To begin with, we'll even out the socket. Then we'll be adding in some more geometry to help us cr create the inner and outer corners of the eyes. Notice that as I'm creating this geometry, the uh, points kind of line up with each other along the vertical um, planes. This is because I'm planning on animating this face, and with most tools you want, or it's easier to have points come together and meet each other. That way if you smooth the head, you can uh, predict how it's going to react. Now we're just going to go and start moving some points around. Now an interesting little side note on the human skull, or the human eye sockets, is that the eye looks directly forward. What that means is that the inner and outer corners of the eye almost line up with each other when you look at them in the profile view. So this corner and this corner match. Not exactly, but fairly close. If you've had problems modeling heads in the past and the eyes have looked kind of alien, that might have been part of the problem. I guess the reason for this is that humans um, have their eyes looking directly forward, which gives them a better depth perception, as opposed to eyes that kind of look outward, which gives better peripheral vision. So now we're just kind of roughing in the oval shape. Just making little steps, nothing too drastic at any time. Can be a little tedious but this is what I found to be the best method to do it. Now eventually we're going to need much more geometry in order to create the brow and the eye socket, especially if it's ever going to be animated. Um, so what I'm doing now is just creating some more room to add in some other loops. Now while the shape isn't quite perfect yet, this is pretty much as far as we want to go at this point. Too much detail is a bad thing. 